Fire in the hole! Oh my gosh, look how high that dirt went. Woo! Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Where's the sun? Welcome back to episode of Fish and Flare. Today, we're not even fishing. We are going to be, hopefully, fingers crossed, if everything goes well, planting corn for the first time. Gonna be planting corn. I've never planted corn. I know, corn boy never planted corn before. Today, that's gonna change. Hopefully, we're gonna be planting some sweet corn. You guys know me and my sweet corn. We're like this. We gotta go check on the beaver dam. Check the trail camera, see if there's any beavers, whether there are or, or not. I may or may not have bought a ton of boom boom to blow up the beaver dam. So that'll probably happen at some point today too. You guys stay tuned. Look at this. Dude, this thing is a beauty. Oh my God. You think it's, you think it'll be able to get it to start? Oh yeah, it'll run. Oh my gosh. Look at the planter. This is like a classic. Like you ever see like a, look at the emoji for iPhone. This is what it looks like. It's literally just shaped just like this. It's crazy. So this is gonna be the planter, the tractor that we're gonna be using to go plant the sweet corn. Hopefully later today. Isn't that right? You're excited. I know you're all excited. Yeah. But I'm a little bit nervous. I mean, like the, the closest thing I ever drove to this was the free range truck at the Guggen HQ. You guys saw that video. If you guys watched the Guggen squad videos, I drove the antique truck. I feel like that's probably the closest thing to this. Kyle, is there anything even close to that? It's a lot different than a truck okay never mind it's i've never driven anything like this then so well we'll hope for the best here i don't know oh my gosh are there are there at least like pedals yeah, yeah. oh okay yeah, it's got a clutch it's, uh, it's, oh oh wow it's oh geez so it's got a clutch i mean so it's manual like you gotta yeah, shift so it's close it's close to the free range truck top top, speed, top like, speed's 12 that's good then i can't than. hurt anything that's that's important we don't want me going faster than 12 miles an hour you got a good teacher that's true kyle's the best in the industry we're about to plant <laughs> the sweetest sweet corn on planet earth <laughs> She started! No way! She's getting it. That's bad. She's getting it. Oh yeah. You think it died like the battery died? No, well it just wasn't getting fuel. Well, got it started for like uh, 3.2 seconds. We're thinking maybe the it didn't get any fuel. Like maybe the fuel line was like not working or something. I'm acting like I know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. But Kyle said he's going to get it to work. So he, he went around there. I'm not sure he's doing Kyle things. But this is, I, let, let's see the inside of this thing. I haven't even looked inside yet. Is it nice and comfy? Oh, there you go. Climb aboard, Captain. Wow, look at this rig right here. This thing is an absolute freaking beauty. Well, I'm excited. I'm gonna feel like a real farmer now. Here we go. Oh yeah, I use done. that. I use that when I killed the warthog. Yeah. So I know that thing works. Stand back, boys. We don't want to. We don't need any accidents right now. <laughs> oh, that sounded better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kyle did it. Woo! I don't want to ruin the shot by just running into it. Kyle's giving me the one-on-one -on, -one on how this thing drives. Honestly, it looks harder than the free-range truck, and that's saying a lot. If you ever need to stop, just push the clutch in. Push the clutch in. Hold it in. Okay. And this one Until down. you get it out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not backing up to the planter, you know? I did all right in the open pasture. It's baby steps. We're, we're crawling, then we're walking, then we're running. So we're letting Kai dog back up to the planter. Good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before, before, before we start planting, Kyle actually has to run into town and grab the corn. He's gotta grab the sweet corn. He's gotta get the little, like the seeds, the kernels, that, that type of deal. So in the meantime, we've got a task to complete. We gotta blow up the beaver dam. The beaver dam on the Brute Bakery. Well, one, we need to go check the trail cameras to see if there was a beaver. All right, we don't even really need to check the trail cameras. We're gonna know if the beavers fixed it or not. Two, then we need to blow it up. And by the time we're done with doing that, Kyle should be back with a seed and then we'll load it up the planter and get to farming. But this part of the vlog, is gonna get interesting. We've got, um, let's just say we got uh, 20 pounds of boom boom. Last time we used four for the other beaver dam. So we've got five times as much. Is that math? Yep, that math is correct. It's gonna be a big explosion. You guys stay tuned. Well, 
Well, what's it looking like, boy? Can't tell if the water just went down. I feel like, yeah, I know the water went down a little bit. You're a professional beaver trapper. Does that look fixed to you? Somebody? Yes, that's 110% fixed. Think so? That's 110% because it's, this. look how soft this mud is. This is all brand new. That's all fresh mud, so there are beavers here. No, that one didn't need to be fixed. That got fixed. Let's go check this one. Yep, they fixed it. Look at this. Look at fresh mud right there. Hopefully that trail camera got That's all fresh mud. We don't have anything to watch the trail camera footage. We're going to take the SD card back to the farm. In the meantime, let's blow this sucker up. Let's get to digging. I'll do the first one. I'll do one here. Okay, do one like where the green grass is right there. Yeah, we're going to have to be straight up. Chris Kyle, if we're going to get this. That's good. Six boom booms have been placed. Three on this dam, three on the other dam. We've got two, no. We've got four to spare for the cleanup act. Hopefully this works. Let's do this. One down. That was free-handed, boys. Shoo! All right, let's get the next one. Can't see it now. Well, folks, shot two, missed one, and then it must have moved. So we're gonna have to go down there and fix that. But first, we gotta hit the top row, and then we'll go down, and we might, may or may not put three or four of these containers together. Stay tuned. Woo! Got that one. That was a good one. There you go. That is five out of six. I can't hear anything. I forgot ear pro. Don't do that. Let's go check out the damage. Well, well, well. Look what we done did here, boys. That's a good one, kind of. It's better than these other ones. These other ones were worthless. That's, that's the only one that breached. Look at this one. This is the hole. That blew a big hole. It just didn't quite get to this. It blew a big hole though. What about this one? What'd this guy do? Anything? Oh yeah, we didn't shoot this one. We didn't shoot that one. Literally just three holes up there. We're gonna need more boom boom, boys. We clearly didn't get enough boom boom. So here's the plan. We have four left plus the fifth one that didn't go off. So instead of trying to blow like half ass, blow both of them up, we're gonna put all five together for one big boom in the middle. We're gonna make it a big boom, big boom. 10 pounds of boom boom. We're gonna let this boy eat right here. Yee -yee. Screw you beavers. You're going down. Look at that, we got five things of boom boom. Inside the hole for the beaver dam. Hopefully this thing works, boys, what do you think? You think it's gonna do it? It's gonna be a big, big boom boom, explosion. boom boom. Huge. All right, here we go. We got five things of boom boom. The most we've ever done is two. We are way up on the hill, going sniper style. This is gonna be sick. My ears are gonna hate me later, but this is gonna be sick. Fire in the hole. Oh my gosh, look how high that dirt went. Please tell me there's water. Dude, there's no water. Bro, we just dug a crater to China. There's no water. It went down, not up. It's because it has to be under the dam. It can't be. If it's on the side of the dam, the pressure comes to us. It needs, we should have dug a deeper hole. Wow, we really get, we need to get better at this boom boom thing. I feel like we're, uh, I feel like we're kind of cheeks at this, but hey, it's still fun. Look at this hole. How deep do you think this is? Well, it's close. I mean, look how, look, look where it started. It started right here. This was all, I mean, we, we put this whole crater in here. It's pretty good. I feel, we're like, I mean, we're right there. Like one more charge and we would be there. I mean, we can do it with a shovel. We did a number on it. It didn't, it didn't do what it was supposed to do, but it looks like maybe one didn't go off. Next time we need to maybe bundle it up tighter. I don't know. Oh, sheesh. We didn't even need the boom boom. We got Bond's daddy on staff. Oh, we going? Oh, now we're going. Now she's eating. She's eating real nice like. Bro, that's some force. We're filling the brute bakery back up. Sheesh. Let her eat. Woo. 
wow all right i'm exhausted folks that was our attempt at blowing up the beaver dam on the burt bakery half i would give it like a 50 percent success rate on that like it'll it'll drain it but they're gonna fix it they didn't get rid of it by any means we need more boom boom we're gonna head down to the farm now and do what you guys have been waiting for which is i'm gonna plant corn for the first time sweet corn that is but before i do that i've got one important thing to tell you guys or ask of you or do something of for some sorts is i'm looking for a graphic designer somebody to make some dope merch i need farm merch i need fishing merch i need ducks merch i need a lot of merch if you guys are if you watching at home or if you know somebody that is a graphics designer that makes like t-shirts and hat design stuff like that shoot me an email here i'll put it right here and i'll just put it down in the description shoot me an email with some of the work that you've done or whoever's emailing me shoot me the work that you've done and as well as maybe like where you live i guess you don't necessarily have to live in nebraska it'd be preferred but if you don't have to. If you guys know anybody or you are that person, let me know, shoot me an email. And uh, yeah, let's go plant some corn. All right, prepping the planter. What do we got? Chain and cable lubricant. We gotta spray the chains and then we gotta put the grease. Look at that electric grease gun. Nice, killed it. Only broke one of them and messed up like four of them. But we're good, we're greased, we're lubed, we're oil. Time to plant some sweet corn. What's up, bud? Are we ready? That's the sweet corn? Yeah. All right, so this is Farm 101. Yeah. Bushels are not um, a stock with a thing on it, with a corn yeah, cob. Like so there's the cob, cob, the husk, the stock. What do you call, like, if I grabbed a stock that had corn still attached, is there a name for that? Is that just corn attached to a stalk? Stalk of corn. I'm not, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I am just really thrown back by this bushel because I thought it was a bushel. Is a bushel a, it's a weight? It's yeah. like a do you know farm how, measurement. But do you know how much it is in pounds? Like what's the conversion? Like a ton is 2,000. What's it say? What's Google, Google say? says a measurement of capacity equals uh, 64 US, US pints. pints. 64 US pints is the answer to that question, I guess. Either way, right over my head. All I want is a, I just want sweet corn. I don't care about the rest of it. Like normally when you're planting a whole huge field, you'd fill this whole thing up with okay. the corn, but like we're only gonna plant like an acre's worth. So yeah. we only have small amounts of seeds and sweet corn's really expensive. To okay. Stuff. Take that bag and just dump it all the way into the bottom and try and get it into that. Into cone. the little cubby thing. I feel like this is like really bougie corn. I feel like it's pretty fitting though. I feel like we're gonna have corn when we're like real bougie. Is this like, is this like high end? Yeah. So it's bougie. bougie. It's bougie it's corn. Bougie I, I like corn. it. I'm a fan of it. Is he, are these things called a hopper? Ah, uh, yeah. You, what do you, really? That was correct? Yeah. That was good. You I mean, it's out. like you put things in there and then they shoot out. Like it's a hopper. Yeah. I feel like that's not like a weird thing to say. So we filled up four hoppers with eight bags of bougie sweet corn. That's what we just did. <laughs> is that mean we're ready now? Sure, oh yeah. gosh, I'm nervous. I mean, it's not like hard, but like I look back and I'm like, it looks like I was intoxicated when I was driving. Whole things like this, but like I was trying to steer straight, but it's like there's no nothing to like follow. There's no like where to put the wheel to follow. You guys get the point. Either way, we're gonna have some crooked corn, but as long as it grows, that's all I care about. Those those lines are about as straight as a rainbow, Bonzo. How does that make you feel? I mean, they're still gonna taste the same. You think you think it'll work? You can get more corn in a crooked row. Is that true? That's what they always used to say. See, I was just a master without even knowing it. I knew I knew the little hacks and tricks behind planting corn. You don't want straight rows. That's a myth. All farmers, when you drive past a cornfield and you see straight rows, that is an absolute myth. You want crooked ones. That's why Kyle brought me. Not a great idea, Kyle, but it's okay. We only got, how many rows did I do? Four? Okay, so we'll just have to scrap those four and continue with the rest of them. But we'll have sweet corn. Maybe, maybe those will be the raccoons' corn. See, I'm just helping out the habitat. That's the food plot for the raccoon. I'm just kidding, it's not a food plot. It'll be all right. I had to try it. Corn boy has to try it. We can do better. But Kyle was saying his other planter has GPS coordinates where it'll like follow automatically. See, that's more of my speed. I need that. I need all the technology so I can just sit back, relax, bump Cardi in my ear, and then you're, uh, you're good to go. Now that's a planter, folks. Look at this thing. Briggs, what do you think? 
I feel like I feel like this thing can do some absolute damage. Yeah, it had, it had four. Hoppers, this thing has three, six, nine, ten. Has twenty. Has twenty hoppers. And then look how big the tractor is. Look at that thing, dude. This thing is massive. So this is Kyle's rig. This is like the rig that they like do like actual farm stuff on. That one is just like their old one from. It was 1969. He said that uh, that they got that planter. Or they got the tractor, but we only planted, we, we had six rows today. We only planted six rows of sweet corn because what you do is you plant like six or four and then you wait a week or two and then you go plant more and you wait a week or two. That way you don't have all your sweet corn at once because like I love my sweet corn, but you can't eat like thousands of freaking cobs of sweet corn at one time. Well, you could, but probably wouldn't be good for you. Look how There's fancy a this thing buttons is. Right there. Yeah, don't touch anything. I'm not going to. Dude, this thing is crazy. Oh, there's gas. It looks like there's gas pedals. That's I like that. There's yeah, we need to make a video in this. No, we need to we need to make a video on this yeah. guy. I feel like this would be like yeah. This is like some high class farming. I like it. But if you guys enjoyed today's farming episode, let me know in the comment section down below. We'll do it again, maybe in this thing. Uh, maybe we'll plant some beans or maybe plant some more just regular field corn. Whatever you guys want to see, let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said, if you enjoyed, let me know. I'll keep doing the farm videos. Obviously, I'm not the greatest corn planter on earth. My lines were not all that straight, but Kyle said it'll work. Fingers crossed. The next task after the corn grows is keeping those raccoons away. That'll be a challenge because I love my sweet corn and so do they. So that'll be a challenge. But like I said, if you guys enjoyed, let me know in the comment section down below. Really do appreciate the view. Peace.